hello guys and welcome to this video in this video we are going to talk about magic square which is a, a interesting cryptocurrency project and we are going to uh, go into the, de the detailed uh, analysis of the coin so it has been around here for a couple or a month or so you can say that so we'll immediately jump into the white paper but uh, before that let's quickly go through this basic information and then we'll jump to the white paper so this is the market cap and this is the fully diluted market cap so huge difference a lot of coins has not been released yet and there are some other informations regarding social media and everything which you can find here on coin gecko now let's quickly jump to the white paper but before that just let's uh, go through the website quickly for a moment and then we'll move to the white paper so discover and engage magic square the ultimate web 3 app store seems seems like a google play store kind of a concept welcome to magic magic square the ultimate po portal to the world of web 3 our magic store bridges the gap between web 2 and web 3 making it seamless intuitive and delightful for everyone to explore and enjoy the countless possibilities of decentralized applications games and experiences so these are the probably the apps which you'll be able to build will understand everything in the white paper so if you want to go through the website and find some other information about the project and everything else then you can go go here on the website now let's jump to the white paper which is the key part to understand any cryptocurrency project so let's go through it now the web3 app industry is growing exponentially and it is considered one of the most innovative spaces in the world today which is uh, very true nonetheless the rapid expansion is also creating hefty challenges for both users and developers as the industry continues to evolve and mature it's important to ensure that it is providing an organized and streamlined experience for everyone in order to achieve this goal developers must create secure and intuitive uh, user interfaces while Users must be provided with ample tools and resources to understand and navigate the Web3 ecosystem. In addition, Web3 companies should focus on creating an environment that is both welcoming and safe for all users and regardless of the background or experience. So what they're trying to say here is that they want to connect the good app developers with the correct audience. That's correct audience. That's what I understood so far. Uh, the ultimate goal is to create a secure and unified Web3 app experience that's both comprehensive and accessible for all magic square offers order simplicity and assurance to the world of web3 applications allowing it to flourish like a well-managed garden not a place of unruly weeds by offering innovative features magic square is paving the way for the web3 industry to reach its full potential we make it possible to deliver a comprehensive solution to meet the needs of users and developers in the present market our holistic approach ensures that every aspect of the process is taken into consideration, making sure that we can provide a service that is tailored to their individual needs. We have built the Magic Store, a Web3 app store truly dedicated to users. Users can experience their personalized dashboard, Magic Spaces, the home of their favorite, favorite Web3 apps. While exploring the Magic Store, users can earn Magic Karma based on the unique use to earn model, become one of the affiliates on magic boost or use the hot offers and much more so basically it is like an app store where users and users will be uh, connected with the proper app uh, web3 uh, apps because what we see on uh, google play store and everywhere those are called web2 apps basically but here uh, with the help of the technology of blockchain and every uh, everything regarding decentralization they will be able to create a marketplace or you can say not a marketplace uh, an app store place where a web3 apps will be there and that's what i understood and that's what actually they mean at least i hope i am not wrong now let's go through the overview since the lo uh, launch of app store and google play so this is the history of what web2 and web3 apps are uh, so we are not going to go into the into the details of that you can go through it in the white paper if you want to this is not as important because this is the historical part of the apps uh, the what apps you will be able to build on the magic square platform is the transact build and manage wealth borrow 
planned on interest game and more commodity digital assets nfts store sensitive data so very you know web3 centric app center you can say in layman terms it is an app center uh, of web3 uh, projects that's all uh, in layman terms you can say now web3 market over with the web3 user base so now this is a very uh, detailed uh, look into the web3 user data you can go through it if you want to i'm sure it is in millions there are, and it is keep going to grow in next 20 years this data is going to be in huge numbers so there is no point in looking at it. it we all know that the web3 apps and the use cases of the apps is going to grow infinitely now one major problem in web3 for users there is no easy to use platform where they can discover and manage vetted web3 apps and enjoy a personalized experience for developers there is currently no comprehensive marketplace to efficient efficiently and economically monetize and market their apps to users just directories with links so uh, well up to a certain extent you can say that at least in web3 market this is a concern and they are trying to solve that by solving the problems of users and developers and connecting the users and developers in the correct way that's what i have understood so far the magic store is the uh, first dao based platform for web3 apps with magic store the community of users and developers can control app quality app listing to the store preventing inappropriate apps uh, from being listed magic store users have personalized dashboard called magic spaces where they can access all their web3 apps seamlessly easily and securely moreover uh, users have the option to track all the activity across all their web3 apps and interact with the magic square community the magic store features a variety of opportunities for users including earning magic karma joining the magic boost affiliate program and taking advantage of other special offers we at magic square know how important it is for developers to reach their target audience we designed the magic store as a marketplace that helps web3 startups and established companies market their apps to relevant audiences we offer comprehensive support for app visibility and exposure as well as special deals to, uh, deals to attract even more users. Now, what is Magic Store and what is all this feature? Let's see. So this is probably how it looks like. I haven't used this Magic Store, but as you can see here that it literally looks very similar to, you know, play Google Play Store or Apple Apple's uh, App Store kind of a concept but uh, only difference is that it is uh, basic, basically based on the web3 blockchain nfts and other crypto projects related market rather than uh, the traditional web2 kind of apps while the web3 industry has largely focused on the tokens and protocols users facing uh, products have been neglected the store aims to change this by priori prioritizing user utility so they want to focus on the users and the, they want to create an environment where developers create a user friendly app more useful apps or you can whatever you say but that's what the target is magic store or pioneering web3 app store is well rated by the community allowing the community to access top rated apps created by leading developers all in one magic store offers users a seamless experience by allowing them to manage their web3 apps discover new apps that fit their needs and use them across multiple devices users can now access their favorite apps with just one click without the need of lengthy registration process many web3 projects establish their communities during the crowdfunding stage such as icos and ideos but these communities often only focus on waiting for price appreciation and never actually use the product they invested in so one of the reason that the community members uh, focus on the price uh, appreciation is because they are not educated about investing and all that stuff so that's the reason why they focus on price appreciation and the more the community members will have bond between each other higher the odds that these community members will understand that they should not only focus on the price but they should focus on the long-term sustainability of any cryptocurrency whether it is magic square or whatever cryptocurrency project they have invested in they have to create a bond between each other other community members otherwise they are not going to survive they are not going to succeed furthermore many projects do not have a fully developed product to offer during their initial token set our goal is to break this cycle by creating a community with viable products that meet various needs this platform allows developers to build their own community of users and effectively monetize their apps 
through a voting process users can access vetted white listed apps which will prevent the publication of scams and inappropriate applications the magic store contains uh, three main pages discover app and games which is very similar to google play store where users can find web3 app categorized in blocks adapted to the user needs projects that can be found in this section are all in the main net for the apps that are still in the process of development we have created a new section that is called upcoming section users may filter projects by category and change sort by rating and chronologically so very you know similar concept to the google play store but again the only difference is that they are focusing more mostly on the web3 apps project categories uh, categories available on magic store defi games media music social exchanges all this now, now quickly let's jump to the magic id the magic id project is cutting its solution for digital identity management offering a multi-credential network solution that allows secure and convenient access to various platform and services magic id supports various login methods including wallets email and social media providing users with a unified login experience the market for digital identity solutions is projected to experience exponential growth in the coming years uh, driven by increasing concerns over privacy and security as well as the need for a more efficient way to manage and share digital identity information well this is true this is a area of concern and has been area of concern and probably always will be the area of concern uh, so let's see how they create a solid infrastructure for the same magic id address is the gap by providing a flexible and easily integrated solution which can be adopted by individuals and businesses of all sizes. A key feature of Magic Square is the ability for users to operate across blockchains and protocols. In this manner, in this manner, users are no longer restricted to apps operating under specific protocols, but are able to access the entire Web3 app ecosystem. So, of course, if an user wants ultimate uh, a blockchain experience, then the, the basic requirement will be to allow users to operate through different blockchains like so from solana to phantom to matic polygon to ethereum every blockchain should, should be uh, allowed to uh, it should be accessible to every uh, user so that can be a great tool it can be a good good start to uh, create a multi multi blockchain kind of uh, user experience uh, so that's what they're here saying is that they can do that by providing cross-chain bridges and integrated DeFi service and probably they will do even better with time if they survive because cryptocurrency market is always very dangerous you know with a lot of threats around a good cryptocurrency projects Ma magic square will implement cross-chain bridges using deep bridge technology in order to entitle users to the highest mobility across blockchains and protocols bridges wrap tokens to allow uh, cross chain inter interoperability sorry compatibility and composability i don't know this of smart contract cross chains have bridging of arbitrary assets interoperability and bridging of nfts bridges also allow frictionless data transfer and liquidity across blo blockchain and provide a single decentralized standard for bridging assets with bridges our users can maximize their overall web3 experience without limiting themselves to a single chain or a protocol to streamline the best user experience popular and community vetted DeFi services such as swapping lending staking will be fully integrated into the app pages featured on the magic store as a result users can access these services directly within the app pages without having to leave to visit external websites the services featured on an app page are directly related to the specific app and supports the app's native currency and protocol SSI self sovereign identity is a digital identity system that gives individuals control over their personal information and the ability to share it selectively it is based on decentralized system like blockchain creating a secure and portable identity for users this technology is implemented across all apps requiring each app to seek permission from the user before gaining access to their information users can easily access grant or revoke permission with just a simple swipe now let's quickly go through the magic swap section magic spaces sorry magic space uh, section uh, to further enhance the user experience on magic store with a highly user centric and accessible interface we created magic spaces the integration so this is their 
UI of magic spaces, the integration of Web3 apps or widgets into uh, personalized spaces will enable our community members to interact with the Web3 apps they prefer. From now on, users no longer need to switch between websites or apps uh, on their devices. They can simply navigate within uh, magic spaces and select the apps they want to use. Clicking on the Web3 app will instantly open it in a tab within their personalized space, eliminating the need to leave their personalized, uh, personalized space. Magic Spaces is designed to be fully accessible and synced across all devices, including Web3 desktop mobile devices. The process of memorizing and download, downloading Web3 apps is simplified with Magic Spaces. Now let's see what Magic Karma is. So the Magic Square is a proud to introduce a distinctive business model built into Magic Store used to earn. So this is more about their business model. It refers to where uh, users can monetize every single action they conduct on the Magic Store, such as complement, completing the their profiles, sharing apps, attracting more users to the platform, participating in the voting process, and many more things. Daily rewards are distributed based on users' personal ranking, their karma score. This innovative model enables users to earn SQR tokens without having to invest money or their time. We, we believe the adage, if you, if, if you don't pay for the product, you are the product is no longer applicable. Those who invest their time and energy to help the platform grow and improve deserve to be rewarded with their contributions. This model is gaining popularity in GameFi's unique uh, play to one mechanism and we have now transformed and integrated it into the App Store. While most social platforms award their shareholders, Magic Square believes that the users of the platform should receive the uh, benefits and rewards for the time and the contributions they make to the platform. The user, the higher a user score, the more credibility, credibility the user gains. Overall, Magic Karma provides the community with a clear measuring framework to gauge whether a user's review and rating is ratings is trustworthy. Magic Square will use Magic Karma in many ways in the future, such as tangible rewards. For the start, users can only convert their Karma points into SQR tokens. Users can on magic karma by conducting various activities creating a magic id verifying their small verifying their email setting up their profile daily logging logging into the magic store and when inviting more users by sharing apps on their social channels based on their earned magic karma and membership tier they may claim their sqr tokens from the daily pool of uh, 10,000 SQR and then uh, track their karma history statist statistics in their profile. So this is all about their magic karma. And there are some other things mentioned here which you can grow through. Now let's see magic community. So this is going to be uh, the this, uh, in detail uh, uh, discussion about the developers and the users how they are creating the environment for the developers and how they are creating environment for the users so you can go through it in the white paper because these are pretty long things and i think if i will go and read everything then this even though it is a light paper it is a huge light paper so it is going this video is going to be very long so we do not want that we don't want boring content at least we, i'm trying to create a content that matters the most to people now let's see what magic boost is the magic boost is the world's, world's first affiliate marketing network dedicated to the web3 and blockchain industry assisting startups and businesses to reach new heights in business growth and social reach. The Magic Boost is a cutting-edge Web3 affiliate network that aims to reward its dedicated affiliates with a share of uh, profits. Affiliates will have access to the most lucrative deals available and can earn passive commissions with ease through affiliate marketing. As an affiliate of Magic Boost, users will enjoy priority access to all advertising spaces, exclusive, exclusive promotions and new offers. This means they will always be ahead of the curve with early knowledge of any potential income generating opportunities. So this is what Magic Boost is all about. So now let's quickly go through the key features uh, uh, of the Magic Boost. A unique lineup of some of the best converting blockchain offers to help users get most out of their links. Offers to promote dApps, games, DeFi, Safi uh, or centralized finance, NFTs and more. 24-7 customer support, real-time start tracking, stat tech, sorry, statistic uh, tracking, advertising spaces, ma magic grant of 100,000 plus plus to promote the latest projects. So this is what Magic Boost is all about. Probably they will uh, 
they, this all these features can help the users in a more uh, inefficient way if they can execute it properly but again the community is going to be everything here all these projects are very complex and uh, even though the team can do whatever they want initially to uh, make the project right work right ultimately all this is going to be controlled by the community and if the community doesn't care for for the project then this project will have no value because you see uh, here uh, in the world of cryptocurrency uh, DeFi has a lot of value and this safe centralized finance has no value and when the team is going to handle the project then it will be called for me at least it is uh, CFI centralized finance but if the community is going to take care of the entire project uh, sooner or later then it is going to be the DeFi uh, thing and that's why community bond the bond between the community members and uh, uh, the care which they can do for each other is going to be the key and it is a hard thing when you don't know anybody's actual identity and you still have to build a connection with them then it can create a lot of you know headache for everybody but that's what creates the value the big investors the people with big money they only care for community bonding they want you to succeed uh, by creating a solid bond between each other so no whatever the ups and downs come during the journey of building this project uh, you can survive and if you will survive those tough times as a community of 500 or 1000 active people then only big investors will come with their big money now magic boost earning models cost per action user will be paid a set amount when the referrals uh, complete an action which could range from filling out a form to purchasing an nft the more advanced the action the higher your earnings will be cost per lead and there are a couple of other things as well there is also revenue sharing op option now there will be hot of hot offers as well which you can go through uh, it as well now this is the distribution of sqr token uh, so again you can go through it here and the key part will be community's role again let me be clear because if there is no bond between the community members and if the com uh, then they are not going to handle this entire project and if if the there is no bond there is no connection between the community members and uh, they do not handle this entire project and only team keeps handling the project then the project becomes a centralized project and in the end this kind of projects were centralized even after giving 100 percent by the team uh, nobody can uh, help uh, those projects to grow because it is ultimately community's interest that will create a project successful or of uh, fail, failure projects and that uh, project and that's the reason why the bond internal bond of family like family like bond between the community members is going to be the key so now there are some other things as well as well here uh, which you can go through in the white paper light paper and that's all i have for you in this video because this video has already you know been a little long so i don't want to keep boring you with all these technical details uh, so yeah uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video hit the like button do not forget to subscribe to the channel and join my uh, telegram group I'll put the link in the description if you have any questions uh, so till then see ya bye bye see you in the next video